Name of the story, potato, egg, and coffee beans. Once upon a time a small family of three, a father, a chef, a mother, and a daughter were living in a small town. The girl had many misfortunes in life and was struggling with problems. One day she got very depressed with what was going on in her life. She kept pondering her life throughout the day. In the evening when father came back home after looking at her face he sensed that something is wrong with the girl. He went near to the bed of the girl and asked, What's wrong my dear, you look so worried. Is everything all right? Father's question came at the perfect time as he was already looking for some shoulder to cry on. With deep pain she complained to her father, My life has become miserable and I don't know how I am going to make it. I am tired of fighting and struggling with problems all the time. It seemed that just as one problem gets solved, another one soon follows. Her father, a chef, took her to the kitchen of their apartment. He asked her daughter to remain silent and just observe what he is doing. The girl was curious about what her father is going to do to solve her problems. The chef filled three small pots with water and placed each on a high fire. Once the three pots began to boil, he placed a potato in one pot, an egg in the second pot, and ground coffee bins in the third pot. The girl became more curious what's the connection between potatoes, eggs, and coffee beans, and her problems. But he kept observing silently as her father instructed her to do so. The father then let all three potatoes, egg, and coffee bins sit and boil, without saying a word to his daughter. The daughter moaned and impatiently waited, wondering what he was doing. About after twenty minutes, he turned off the burners. He took the potato out of the pot and placed it in a glass bowl. He pulled the egg out and placed it in another bowl. Afterward, he ladled the coffee out and placed it in a coffee mug. The chef turned toward her daughter and asked, My dear daughter, what do you see? Potatoes, eggs, and coffee, the girl hastily replied. He said, look closer and touch the potato. She touched the potato and noticed that it was soft. He then asked her to take an egg and break it. After pulling off the shell, she observed the hard-boiled egg. Finally, he asked her to sip the coffee. Its rich aroma brought a smile to her face. Father, what does this mean? I am still not getting what are you trying to communicate she asked. He then explained that the potato, the egg, and the coffee bins had each faced the same adversity the boiling water. However, each one of them reacted differently. The potato went in strong, hard, and unrelenting, but in boiling water, it became soft and weak. The egg was fragile, with the thin outer shell protecting its liquid interior until it was put in the boiling water. Then after remaining in boiling water the inside of the egg became hard. However, 
The ground coffee bins were unique. After exposing to the boiling water, they changed the water and created something new. Which are you? he asked his daughter. When adversity knocks on your door, how do you respond? Are you a potato, an egg, or a coffee bean? The girl got the solution to her problems the result would be dependent on her response to the problems she was facing. Moral of the story It is not what happens around you or to you that matters. It is your response that determines what you become after adversity. In fact, it's up to you, what will be the result of problems and adverse situations in life. Your reaction decides the ultimate result. You may even change the whole boiling water according to your color and spread aroma which gives spread happiness. More than the problem, it's your reaction to the problem that creates chaos in my life. So, which one are you? Are you a potato, an egg, or a coffee bean? You may also like to read another article on cockroach theory, which also gives a strong message about how your response changes the result. Thank you, if you like this video then please like and subscribe to the channel.